Good morning and welcome back to episode 6 of Love My Poland. Today we have a special topic. You know, if you've ever been to Poland or if you have a Polish friend, you might be aware already that this is a very superstitious country. And that's a little bit odd considering the fact that over 90% of the population is devout Roman Catholic. So today, I'd like to get into the top seven superstitions that have really shocked me over the 18 years that I've been living in this wonderful place. Now, the first superstition I'd like to talk to you about today is what's called the chimney sweep or the chimney sweeper. In Polish, it's a kominiarz. This is a man that's wearing all black. He rides a bicycle up and down the street. Now, if you see this chimney sweep, you have to hold your button. And as you're walking, you'll see people do it all the time. I see kids walking out of high school and they're just walking down the avenue holding their button. At first it was a huge shock to me, but now I realize it's just the superstition of when you see a chimney sweeper, you have to hold that button. Hold the button until you've seen, I've seen two versions. Hold your button until you've seen a man with glasses, or hold your button until you've seen a guy with red hair. Both of these are excuses to let go of the button, but if you let go too soon, from what I've heard, it's bad luck. So that's the chimney sweep superstition. The second superstition is called the red ribbon. Now, you might notice here I have my child's uh, stroller carriage combo here, and my wife has attached a red ribbon to it. Why on earth would she do that? Well, in Poland, I don't agree with superstition. I'm a Baptist. I don't really go into that too much, but she believes that having a red ribbon attached to the baby carriage keeps bad things away from the baby. If it makes her feel better, all power to her, more power the to her. The third superstition we're going to talk about today is what's called burning ears. You know, when my wife and I were first dating many, many years ago, she came back from work one day and she said, you know, my ears are on fire. It's really, my earlobes are burning down here. And I, I said, I'm sorry, what, what could be the problem? She said, you don't know? No. She said, that means that somebody's talking about me. Maybe somebody's gossiping about me. I laughed at first and then she said, no, I'm serious. It's a Polish superstition. If your ears are burning, that means someone is gossiping or talking about you blank stare for quite some time, but now, normal, I get it. The fourth superstition has to do with what's called the spitting sound. Let me first of all tell you a story before I tell you what that spitting sound's all about. A few years ago, we had a terrible, terrible event that happened just behind that red house there. There was a plane crash. We're not far from the local airport here, and a plane carrying 12 parachute jumpers went down. Everybody on board died, it was tragic. The uh, skydiving school at the airport closed down for a long, long time, and. Recently, I told my mother-in-law, joking around, they opened the school up again, that I might take, you know, I'm 42 years old, it's time to do something daring, maybe I'll start skydiving. And the only thing that she said was, <laughs> kind of stood back, what's going on here? This is a kind of reaction to something that might happen in a bad way. If, if something could tragically happen, they kind of give that spitting sound to ward off anything bad from happening. It also shows kind of dissatisfaction with your idea. So you do that to kind of keep bad things from potentially happening that could. The spitting sound. Now the fifth superstition is a good one. Uh, very, very often, you know, you'll, you'll leave your apartment or your house, you have your keys, your wallet, everything, your bag. You get into the car, you start driving, you think, oh, I left the document on my desk. You go back to the house, you pick up that document, and guess what? In Poland, you can't just take that document and leave. Superstition has it where you have to sit down, wait a few moments, up to a minute, I think, and then you can leave again. If you leave too fast, something bad can happen. So if you forget something, you have to go back and get it. Sit down first before leaving. The sixth superstition today has to do with two superstitions, actually, that refer to pregnant women. Now, my wife and I have three children together, and during the first pregnancy with Jordan, uh, my wife tried to look through a keyhole when she was about six months pregnant. You know, the typical keyhole, she just kind of peeked through to see what was on the other side, and my mother-in-law completely freaked out. You can't look through the keyhole! My wife, oh my gosh, I forgot, I completely forgot. I'm looking at them going, what's going on? A pregnant woman who looks through the keyhole can cause her child to be cross-eyed. You didn't know that? Yeah. If you look through the keyhole, the woman's pregnant, the child could potentially be cross-eyed or have one eye going this way. Never look through the keyhole if you're pregnant. Now, another thing a pregnant woman can do is cross her legs. If she crosses her legs while pregnant, it means that the umbilical cord can be wrapped around the baby's throat. Never cross your legs if you're pregnant in Poland. It's funny with these tales. It's just kind of part of the culture and part of living in Poland. You just have to accept it. And the final superstition I'd like to talk to you about today is called knocking on wood. Well, your first reaction might be, that's nothing special. We have knock on wood superstition all over the world. True. But in Poland, you can't knock on any wood. For example, this chair here wouldn't count because it's painted. Knocking on wood has to be unpainted wood. Knock on unpainted wood for good luck, just so you know. 
unpainted wood. That's all I have for superstitions. There will be more. If I have more superstitions, I'll have that in a future episode. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe below.